Welcome to Sean the Cigar Guy. So today we're going to be smoking the H. Upman Herman's Batch. So this cigar was created in honor of Herman Upman. So this cigar, it is a Toro size. It is a 6x52. Its wrapper is an Ecuadorian Habano. The binder includes Dominican tobacco, and so does the filler. And also the filler also includes Nicaraguan tobacco. All right, so temperatures outside are pretty nice out there. You'll see around like about 90, 91 today. So not too bad for uh, early, mid-September. So definitely looking forward to going out there and lighting up. So I'm gonna go ahead and take this ribbon off of here. This is a really nice presentation. I really like the color of the, of the cigar wrapper and everything too. This bright, flashy orange a little bit, like a metallic orange and uh, a nice smoky gray, which is pretty cool. All right, so this cigar was recommended through one of my subscribers. Uh, the last time I did a review for a Chapman was the uh, Banker, and this is way back in mid-December. And I know uh, Curtis A. Eurora, make sure I'm saying your name right, Eura. I try to look at the pronunciation of your last name, so it's spelled D-E-R-O-R. -R. And just wanted to make sure it's through the pronunciations and show it at Google. So I to make sure I got the right one. All right, let's go ahead and do an aroma check onto this. The wrapper definitely has a oaky aroma. So does the foot. And for this, onto the cap itself. Don't worry about cutting it. We actually got ourselves a pigtail. So with this. You always want to have pretty much take your non-dominant hand, hold the cigar with it, take your dominant hand, grip on to the pigtail, and if you want, just kind of get a little bit closer, that grip, give it a nice pinch, just kind of tear it apart right from there. And a lot of times, you just kind of end up Kind of like that. It's a little bit of a tear. So, try to do a cold roll of this. Not going to get too much out of it, but we'll see. Seems like it's pretty tight. I've had a few successes uh, with pigtails. So, let's go ahead and grab the conduit cutter. All right. So, do a shout out to my friends over at Hellacious, Dean and Jen. Here's the Condor Cutter. So, I'm going to angle this so you can see it more at an angle where I can get it, give it some better leverage. There we go. And we got better success. All right, so the flavor from this definitely has like a, uh, like a fresh roasted coffee flavor to it. Why not a cold draw? Seems pretty tight, but good flavor. Definitely has some spice onto the tongue right away, but onto the back draw. Quite smooth. It's like a mixture of like uh, sort of sweet and 
kind of like a same thing, that woody flavor to it. Kind of like a mixture of like oak, cedar, and just some, some wood aroma coming out from the, uh, the backdrop, which is really nice. But you get a little bit of spice onto the tongue right away. Initial light up. Alright, so here we are at the midpoint of the cigar. Definitely has some boldness to the cigar. Definitely goes from more medium body, then definitely picks up some strength into the midpoint. Uh, definitely have taste notes of spices, leathery notes, and some woody notes in between. So it's the leathery notes really pick up a lot, so it's definitely getting a lot more full flavor off of the cigar. So cigar review time. So overall, the cigar continues to have a lot of full body, bold taste to it. Definitely intensifies more to get to the end. Uh, definitely has, continues on with a lot more leathery notes than anything. Uh, some spices, the spices kind of die down, get towards the end though, not as intense. And you still get some woody notes throughout the cigar. So a lot more oaky, I would say, than versus any kind of flavor of cedar. Uh, definitely has I would say a little bit more of like a, uh, a leather flavor to it, so it's definitely a very full body cigar. Uh, give it a scale of 0 to 10, I'll give this one an 8.7. Alright, that's a review. Thank you so much for watching. And also, Curtis, thank you very much for recommending this cigar. I definitely appreciate it. And remember to hit like and subscribe. Have a wonderful day.